What's going on guys? I am back here at the RV station taking a look at the J Feather travel trailer from Jayco. Now one of my subscribers specifically asked me if I could review this product because it's what they're going to be getting. Now they don't have the floor plan in stock that he had asked about, but they do have some others and the technology should pretty much be the same regardless. So I'm going to go over some of these units and see what I like about them and some things that I think could be improved. So hang tight. So in front of me is the Jayco J Feather 24RL, and that means it's 24 feet long in the interior, rear living room. Total length of this unit is going to be about 28 feet long. This is a fiberglass walled unit, so it's going to have an aluminum frame with fiberglass walls. The frame on this specific unit is going to be manufactured by BAL, which makes a really, really good travel trailer frame. So there's a lot of reasons to look for travel trailers that have a BAL frame taking a look at this coach, one of the areas that I can already tell I'm going to be impressed by is the front storage. This is a huge storage area for almost any travel trailer. Just to see one that's this large is kind of rare. Looks to be about four feet wide, about two feet tall, and shoots all the way across. Very nice storage area with power and lighting inside. It does have your traditional scissor style jacks. Taking a look at the outside. This runs on Goodyear Endurance tires, very nice. 205-75-14s. It has a standard equalizer. No upgrade on that. And then I imagine the back here is going to be an outside kitchen. So you do have a micro fridge out here. You do have the option to put a TV out here with your cable and power connections. Taking a look at the back. Has LED lighting, very nice. A barbecue grill mount back here. It is pre-wired for a Furion backup camera. And it has a ladder to take you on top of the unit. A lot of travel trailers don't offer that. Spare tire hangs off the back. It uses traditional rack and pinion slides, so I do like those. Standard framed windows. On the utility side, it does have a shower as well as all of your drain connections. Taking a look at the numbers of this unit, it has 3,500 pound axles, a 6,500 pound gross vehicle weight rating, and it has a cargo capacity of right under 1,000 pounds, 974 pounds. I would definitely recommend a three quarter ton truck to tow this, or if you have a max tow half ton truck, or maybe even like a Nissan Titan XD, you'd probably be okay with that. Has a nice power tongue jack, dual propane bottles with lighting. Now this utilizes what appears to be an open sea channel 8 inch frame. Let's go inside this coach and take a look. Has steel entry steps. Nice storage cabinetry right up front. This is a rear living room setup. It's not a bad rear living room floor plan for a relatively small travel trailer. Has a nice couch that folds out into a bed. Lots of countertop space here as well. So you do have a really good functional kitchen. You have an oven as well as microwave above it. Look at all the cabinetry they put in here. I don't think you would ever run out of storage space in a unit like this. Some nice drawers below. Has a double basin sink right here. Very nice. Has a dinette booth that turns into another sleeping area, complete with more storage above. Here's your entertainment. What I like about this is your sofa is facing the entertainment center. So the people sitting here and the people sitting here would have no problem watching the TV here. More cabinets below. Has a ducted air conditioning system. It is not a whisper quiet system, but that's not surprising. Going into the dual entry bathroom, which is really nice. You have an entrance from the bedroom and from the main living area. Has a good size stand up shower. And it has relatively good height to it. So you could probably be upwards of about maybe 6'3 and still fit in this shower. It's really nice sink, cabinet area. Nice toilet. They make a pretty good use of a bathroom in this coach. Oftentimes these smaller travel trailers don't have very accommodating bathrooms and this one's pretty nice queen size bed tremendous amount of room on each side to get into the bed plus 
the height here of this area above is actually rather tall. It looks to be about three and a half feet. So in some travel trailers, you have to worry about hitting your head on that when you sit up in the morning. In this one, you probably aren't going to have to worry about that as much. I like that there's some space right in the back there behind these cabinets if you want to put your cell phone or things like that. And then there's a power connection on each side right here, plus good size closets and big storage cabinets up front. I also like how they finished off the wall here with wood tone versus just your traditional panel board. That looks really nice. If you are in the extreme south, I would suggest you get this unit with dual air conditionings if you can, simply because it would definitely make the interior a lot cooler. Overall though, this is a pretty nice coach. The floor plan's laid out really well. All your fuse panels and everything's down there. You can see that it's wired for solar. Here's your control panel. This utilizes their tough shell aluminum frame, has a vacuum laminated construction, and it is all key to like as well. In my opinion, this would be a good step up from your traditional aluminum sided wood framed wall travel trailer to something that's going to be a little bit better insulated. Uh, it's going to carry a better resale value with it and it'll probably even be a little bit lighter. I don't have the pricing on this specific coach, but if I'm correct, I believe it was about 27,000 and change. Anyways, guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.